أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear respected brothers and sisters, guests Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh It's a real mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are all gathered here today this is a blessed day in the history of Islam in North America and it is the day and the weekend during which you and I are witness to the culmination of work that began over 50 years ago by only six people, six concerned people sitting around at a convention of the Muslim Student Association of the United States and Canada. Those six people looked around and they realized not only will we be staying in America, uh, having families here, but we will need to establish institutions to support and to promote a lifestyle that is in direct, direct alignment with the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam, that dream on that day in September of 1968, brothers and sisters, gave birth to what we now today celebrate the achievements of the organization, the Islamic Circle of North America. Takbir. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. This is an amazing, amazing milestone. And here are some reasons why, and as I speak to you, inshallah, for the next few minutes, and Sheikh Omar Suleiman is getting ready to give his talk, and Sheikh Yasser Qadi is also here, and then we'll go to Maghrib. This organization and the concern that gave, gave rise to the organization resulted in an entire generations of people who benefited from the dream and the vision of those first six founders. However, no work is sustained no work is sustained on the back of one person or five or six. Every community is blessed with people, both women and men, who sacrifice their personal lives, their own whims and desires, their own careers in some cases, and yes, even their wealth, to ensure that you and I today sitting here in Baltimore, Maryland, with thousands of people from around the country and Canada, and I met people coming from Australia, Japan, Guyana, and many other countries that we may not have met yet to know who they are. But all of this has happened because generation after generation of leadership, volunteers, staff, and yes, we who attend the conventions have made it possible. ICNA stands for the Islamic Circle of North America, but I want to take you on a different ride with those same four letters. Because when you study the history of this organization, here are the four things ICNA has been able to do. I stands for Islamic in the official name. But I also stands for the amazing power of the organization to love and to cherish innovation. That is the good kind of bidah, so don't get carried away. Innovation in the form of what? Looking around and seeing. How will we answer the growing questions about Islam? How will we convey to people the meaning of the message when we say the theme, sharing Islam, serving humanity. This comes from the verse in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks a rhetorical question, a question that does not need to be answered. Why? Because in the, in the sentence itself, in the question itself, the wording is such that it answers itself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنْ 
قولا ممن دعا الى الله وعمل صالحا وقال انني من المسلمين الله سبحانه وتعالى who already knows everything all wise is asking in a rhetorical way and who is better in speech than one who calls people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sharing Islam wa amila salih and engages in righteous conduct serving humanity because of that dream came to fruition projects like and organizations like that are direct relationship to ikna is why Islam respond only to my takbir if your community has benefited from the work of why Islam for example through the billboards the dawa boots and the various festivals the hotline that's offered who knows why Islam takbir mashallah lots of earthquakes happen around the world Muslims in America are sitting around the entire tsunami occurs in Southeast Asia Muslims in America are sitting around concerned people look up and realize that there is an entire rest of the ummah that we left behind or those who are indigenous Americans got to know how do we help them how do we serve them how do we contribute to their relief and to their development the same visionaries of ikna give birth to an organization in 2005 called helping hand for relief and development a separate organization but a project of ikna and uh, ikna relief and the islamic learning foundation and 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 brothers and sisters i'm about to ask you for support for ikna but before i do i want there to be recorded on this video your gratitude and my gratitude simply by repeating two words or phrases thank you ikna we're going to say it three times say it with the emotion of what you must feel when you sit and think how did six people with so much concern 50 years ago imagine a community that would look like this feel like this and subhanallah exemplify islam like this let us give them thanks so repeat after me thank you ikna thank you ikna thank you ikna mashallah one one child is out of line but it's okay in a group of about 5000 that's not a problem it's actually a good sign mashallah so how are we going to show our gratitude Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran refers to the wealth that we have that we think is ours. In a beautiful way, he enjoins upon us women and men. Innal musaddiqina wal musaddiqat. Those of the men who give in sadaqah, those of the women who give in sadaqah. Allah multiplies their reward. Allah multiplies their reward. For the women, are the examples of Ummahat al Mu'mineen, the beloved wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who had their formal names and who also had the names that uh, exemplified the sadaqah they gave. Umm al Miskin, the mother of the poor, the one with the longest arm, metaphorically because of the reach of her sadaqah. And for the brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses both men and women. But in this verse, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ Those collectively who spend of their wealth. In this verse, I want you to keep in mind, you and I are very worried. There is a lot of bigotry, anti-Islamic hysteria, hate in the hearts of people. Some ignorant, one person, one ignorant person came up with they punish a Muslim day and because of your actions and my actions we helped it go viral for no absolute reason you're worried and I am worried you're anxious and I am anxious but Allah is our protector in the Quran mental health of human beings 
is connected with spending in the path of Allah. So in that verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ Those who spend of their wealth, بِاللَّيْلِ nahar By night and also by day. سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَ Some of us, we don't want to be known. We don't want our sadaqah to be seen. Allah Azza wa Jal knows that. And so He says, سِرًّا Do it secretly. وَعَلَانِيَ And also in public. Why is that possible? How do you know that sadaqah is given in public? It's okay to raise your hands. It's okay to motivate one another. How do we know that? Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu when asked for support by the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought half of everything he had a public exercise. Um, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu brought everything he had. Yes, the lights came on, so if someone was sleeping, now they're like, what happened? <laughs> we raised enough money for the lights, alhamdulillah. So what I need from you is going to be very simple and straightforward. This verse, Allah is addressing you and I. Spend of your wealth by night and by day, in secret and in public, Allah gives you what? Falahum ajrahum anda rabbihim. There's a reward for them from their Lord. Here's the beautiful part. وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَهْزَنُونَ Look to the people who give in sadaqah. Look at their condition. Even when they have little, even when they have little, they give out of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They give to show gratitude to Allah for what little they have. They give gratitude to what Allah blessed them with and they give gratitude to the harm Allah prevented from reaching them. What harm did Allah prevent from reaching your family? Maybe you were driving here on Friday in the rain. Maybe you were sitting in traffic, distracted by your phone. Maybe you screeched the brakes, barely came about to hit the car in front of you. Allah prevented harm from reaching you. A family member went for a biopsy, went for a diagnosis, and the results of the tests came back negative. Harm was prevented. How did it happen? What will we show? We are not going to ask for thousands of dollars tonight. We're going to start by asking who knows their relationship with Allah and says, I want to be among those. Falahum ajruhum anda rabbihim. There is a reward for them from their Lord. I want to be those that the angels are counting. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah sends two angels every morning to see who of us spends in the path of Allah, who of us holds back. You know why I love my religion? Giving the wealth was never specified. The accountants will tell you April 15th is coming up. There are categories of donations that are tax deductible. There are categories of expenditures, this, that, and the other. In Islam, the amount was never mentioned. In fact, in fact, how much would half a date cost today in America? How much would half a date cost? Alayhi salatu was salam. The beloved of Allah said, Ittaqun nar, save yourselves from the fire of hell, even if it is by only giving half of a date in sadaqah. Oh Allah, bless every single person who is in this room tonight, who is focused on making dua for ikna and for the success of ikna. Say ameen. Oh Allah, bless every single person who has made a contribution tonight. Oh Allah, bless them for what they have spent. Say ameen. Oh Allah, indeed, multiply the wealth that has been spent tonight. Say ameen. O oh Allah, indeed, replace the wealth that has been spent tonight. Say ameen. And O oh Allah, if one of your servants tonight made a dua before they made a donation, O oh Allah, every single one of us here present today says and begs you, O oh Allah, answer the dua that they made before they made the donation. Say ameen. O oh Allah, if they asked for better health, O oh Allah, give them healing and a speedy recovery. Say, Ameen. 
O oh Allah, if they ask for more wealth, indeed, O oh Allah, bless them with more money, but don't make it a test upon them. Say Ameen. O oh Allah, if they asked, if they made sincere dua, as they made a donation for better relationships between husbands and wives and parents and children and grandparents and in-laws, relatives close and far and community members and board members and the Imams, O oh Allah, if somebody prayed tonight for an improvement in their relationship with other human beings or with you, O oh Allah, tonight we beg you to answer their dua. Say Ameen. And indeed, O oh Allah, as we close, we make dua to you. O oh Allah, you are the best of planners. O oh Allah, bless the founders of Ikna. Say Ameen. Bless every single person who served on at the board on the central sh the shura as a member of the general assembly. Every single person and their families for their sacrifices. Say Ameen. Bless every single secretary general for their sacrifices. Say Ameen. Bless every single staff member for their sacrifices. Say Ameen. And indeed, O oh Allah, tonight, tonight we ask you especially, especially, O oh Allah, to receive and give mercy and to cleanse and give mercy to the souls of those who have passed away in your service, O oh Allah. Say Ameen. O oh Allah, indeed, they have left us, but they left an amazing mark, O oh Allah. And tonight, we remember them, we remember them, and we make dua for them, O oh Allah, that you re help them to reach the highest station in paradise. Say Ameen. And indeed, tonight, O oh Allah, bless every single volunteer, those who are the unsung heroes, whose names are never mentioned from the stage, whose names are never announced, whose name tags don't even display, aren't even displayed, O oh Allah, but they are the people serving us day and night throughout the year. And at this convention, O oh Allah, we close by asking you to bless every single volunteer and their families for their sacrifices. Ameen, ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.